Florida did become a state, it was relatively unsettled. Gainesville was founded because of the railroad and there were two union attacks trying to seize control of the railroad because all those foodstuffs, the cattle and other supplies were sent north to Confederate uh, forces and the union wanted to stop that. The union was unsuccessful both times. But it shows that Gainesville was important. In Alachua County and Gainesville, there was an African-American majority after the Civil War. Now, of course, Florida was a slave state, and um, there were many plantations in Alachua County. Um, and after the Civil War, most people who were enslaved left the plantations, and many moved into Gainesville. So um, the, uh, the, there's a, a first freedmen-built uh, community at Pleasant Street. Um, that was, again, built by freedmen who came here to start a new life. We, we were not looking out into the white world because if you ventured out, you were stopped before you could even get started. And in those days, there was just a definite dividing line of black and white. White over here, black over here. You went to your black theaters, you went to your black churches, you went to your black parties, and things of that sort. It was a black and white world no coming together on anything. So what happened to Gainesville's um, African-American majority, part of what happened throughout the South is um, mobility, right? So the great migration, getting out of the South, um, to move away from oppression and Jim Crow and move toward the possibility of better jobs and not a perfect world, there's still discrimination, but, um, but at least a different um, world, the promise of something better. You have the University of Florida opening in Gainesville, and even though it's for white males only, it has an influence upon Gainesville that, that grows over time. If you speak with um, members of families who have been in Gainesville from you know, the 1850s uh, through the late 19th century, uh, they will probably tell you it was not the best thing. <laughs> but if you speak with people who are, have grown up in Gainesville in the 20th century, you know, they feel so differently about University of Florida. A lot of University of Florida students and faculty might not realize that in, in many college towns there's this town-gown difference. In Gainesville, there are people who go back generations with a relationship with university. of Florida being anything but positive for Gainesville seems alien to a lot of us today. But for people who grew up here when it was a smaller town and there were, you know, only a few hundred um, families, people knew each other, um, and there weren't these so-called outsiders coming in, you know, they might not agree. Today, Gainesville is one of the um, uh, bluest cities in in Florida, it's it's so different from the outlying areas where you have more agricultural based economy, smaller towns. Gainesville has grown and it's diversified not only in terms of uh, population but in terms of the the types of jobs, right, and um, the the information and, and medical and um, you know, university based jobs, and that just gives Gainesville a different flavor.